Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I am now going to go through the January 2020 International A Level P1 Pure Mathematics 1 paper. Um, and I'm going to go through this, the whole of this paper, but I'll do it question by question so I can um, classify the questions according to topics. And I'll have a playlist with topics and a playlist with the. Um, this paper in it. So if you want to see the rest of the questions in the paper, you can click on the icon at the end of the paper, which will have the um, playlist link on it. Okay, now, so it says, find in simplest terms the integral with respect to x of 8x cubed minus 1 over 2 times the square root of x. A question like this, very uh, common type of question. Before we can get into actually integrating, we have to prepare each term to be integrated. Now, the first term is fine. It's already prepared for integration. The power has to be the, the x term. The term that needs to be integrated must be on the numerator. And um, there should not be any thirds, no root, square roots, cube roots, anything. It should be written in index form. So the first term is fine. It's the second term which has a problem. We have to rewrite this so that we can integrate it. Okay, and one over the two uh, one over two times root x is the same as saying one over two times x to the power of a half, which is now we have to have the x to the power of a half on the numerator. So this is x to the power of negative a half over two. Okay, what's very common for people to do, make a mistake here is to write this as two x to the power of negative a half, bringing the two up with the x, which is not correct because it's only the x which is to the power of the half, not the 2. Okay, if we were to bring the 2 up, we would have to write it like this, and then that makes things complicated anyway. So it's better to write this as x to the power of negative a half over 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, we're gonna, we haven't integrated yet, so I'll keep the integral sign. This is like stretched out s, bracket. You should have the bracket there. This is fine. 8x cubed over 3 is ready to be integrated. I can't integrate it yet until I've everything ready together this is minus 1 over 2 x to the power of a half i could write it like that x to the power of negative a half sorry and then you've got minus 5 and we want to integrate that with respect to x so now what we're going to do is when we integrate you once we now we're going to start integrating so what we can do is you can put this square bracket which we're going to now write the integral of these things in here so we're going to integrate now integration in p1 maths is pretty simple you just have to know that you add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So this is going to be 8x to the power of 4 divided by 4. So you've already got a 3 there, so it's going to be divided by 3 times 4, you could say. Minus, and then you're going to add 1 to the power, so you have 1 over 2. In fact, we could even write this as x to the power of minus half over 2. It's probably better. So you add 1 to the power, gives you a half. Then you divide by the new power. Now the new power... There's already 2 there, so you're going to divide by a half. So you're going to multiply the denominator by a half, basically. You've got minus 5. Now, a constant, when you integrate it, just gets to x with it, minus 5x. Okay, you can think of it as this is 5x to the power of 0 at the moment, and you add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, you get 5x to the power of 1. If you want to think about it like this, and because this is an indefinite integral, Okay, because it's an indefinite integral, we don't need the square brackets here, by the way. This is an indefinite integral. There's no numbers to put in here like we learn in P2. We just put plus C. Okay, I would have put the square brackets if we had to substitute values in if it was a definite integral. As it's an indefinite integral, we don't have to put the square brackets. We don't, but we must put plus C to show that there was a constant of integration that could have been there. If we differentiate this, we're going to get something like that. But there could have been a constant that was... Um, you know, that disappeared when you differentiate. When you differentiate constant, becomes zero. So now let's just um, tidy this up. That 4 and that 8 cancel out, giving you 2. And 2 times a half is 1. So you're left with 2 over 3, x to the power of 4, minus, now they cancel out, giving you x to the power of a half, minus 5x plus c. And there we have the answer for question number 1. Okay, so that's pretty simple, uh, simple integration. Just take care of this, um, you know, when you are changing this into uh, the numerator, you have to make, 
x to the power of a half, the 2 doesn't go up with it. The, the square root is only on the x, the power of a half is only on the x. So it's x that goes up, it becomes x to the power of minus a half over 2. Okay, so if you'd like to see other questions on this paper, the playlist should be over here. Once I upload, or um, as I upload the questions, they'll be in the playlist over there. And if you want to see other questions on this particular topic of integration from P1, you can click on this icon over there. The playlist will be there. You can subscribe to my channel from this uh, link. And on the top, a card will take you to maybe in one of the other P1 past papers that you might be interested in, in looking at. Okay, thank you for watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed and understood and learnt. And I'll see you again soon.